How did conservation groups and the province come together when faced with a severe water issue? That's today's news. Welcome to the Milk River Ridge Reservoir. Just a few short years ago, there was a heavy agricultural presence here, which threatened the water quality of the reservoir. So this was provincial lands, crown lands, and over the years, the farming practices just kept encroaching on the, on the reservoir, and, and what was happening is we were getting uh, uh, farm products that were leaching into the, uh, into the reservoir, uh, and it was causing water quality issues. The province, along with the County of Warner, the Alberta Fish and Game Association, and the Alberta Conservation Association, collaborated to put together a comprehensive plan to deal with both the water quality and habitat issues. There's a lot of the habitat that's been re reclaimed, I guess, and so it's, uh, it's brought that back to where it's uh, good habitat for the wildlife here, particularly the pheasants, the grouse, the partridge. Uh, as well as uh, the deer that live in the area and, and it's been just a really worthwhile project. How to deal with a nutrient-rich runoff presented real issues and in the end resulted in a unique approach constructing a wetland which would act as a filter before the water could reach the reservoir. Now for the purpose of, of water quality uh, this wetland, or nutrient settling pond if you want to call it that, um, basically captures the, the tributary that flows directly into the reservoir, but it holds that water and allows the nutrients to settle out, and then the outflow is going to be better water quality than what was coming in. Now, several years into the project, communities and farmers are beginning to see the benefit of maintaining a large habitat site like this one. Some of the smaller communities in the area, in fact a number of them, depend on this reservoir for their drinking water. It was imperative that, that we preserve the quality of the water for the communities and residents around this particular water body. And I think once the farmers and ranches in the area saw how important that was, then they, they got on the bandwagon and, and, uh, and then could see the benefits of what was happening with the reclamation going on around here. There is still more work to be done on the wetland and the riparian areas, but there is a real feeling that the potential of the Milk River Ridge Conservation Site is a diamond in the rough. Uh, we've got about 40 kilometers of shoreline that are actually fenced off from, uh, from livestock use and there's altogether there's uh, approximately about a thousand acres of land all around the reservoir that we can help uh, uh, re-establish into uh, effective wildlife habitat. As of right now we're actually about 80 percent done and uh, so that means we've, uh, we've reseeded back to permanent cover over 200 acres of land. Um, altogether around the reservoir we've got over 20,000 shrubs planted and uh, not to mention that um, we're working with the neighboring farmers and landowners, uh, the ones that were dependent on the reservoir for livestock watering. Uh, we're providing off-site watering units and that type of thing so that the cattle don't have to actually come down to the actual reservoir to drink. The reception uh, from the local community and, and uh, not to mention the hunting and fishing community from the surrounding area has been phenomenal. Music 